This is the Music History Today podcast for August 17th. On today's show, two legends pass away, one tries to pass away, and a legendary music video is recorded. First up, though, on this date in 1883, the Dominican National Anthem was played publicly for the first time. In 1917, the original Dixieland Jazz Band recorded the song Tiger Rag. In 1960, the Beatles started their gigs at Hamburg, Germany's Idra Club. In 1967, Gary Puckett and the Union Gap recorded the song Woman, Woman. In 1971, Aretha Franklin sang at King Curtis's funeral. In 1986, 40 people were injured when a riot broke out at a Run DMC concert in California, which was started by a gang fight. In 1987, the Beastie Boys and Run DMC finished their tour together. In 1990, George Benson and Miles Davis were among those who performed at the JVC Jazz Festival. In 1991, Nirvana recorded their music video for the song Smells Like Teen Spirit. Of course, the music video became one of the more iconic music videos of the 1990s. In 1993, Jeff Buckley recorded his concert that became his EP, Live at the Sin E. Also in 1993, a police investigation started into child molestation charges against Michael Jackson. In 1995, singer Dave Gahan of Depeche Mode tried to commit suicide. He thankfully did not succeed. Also in 1995, Microsoft got the rights to use the song Start Me Up by the Rolling Stones for their Windows 95 ad campaign. In 1996, Bobby Brown was involved in a single car accident. In 1997, the Hank Snow Country Music Center in Nova Scotia was dedicated. And James Hetfield of Metallica married his wife Francesca Tomasi. In 2004, Dan Fogelberg revealed that he had prostate cancer. In 2008, Phil Collins divorced his wife, Orion Sevi. In 2012, Slipknot held their first Knotfest music festival, and the film musical Sparkle was released in movie theaters. In 2015, Ronan Keating of the group Boys Zone married model Storm Utrich. And in 2019, Tool's song, Fear Inoculum, at 10 minutes, 22 seconds, became the longest song to ever hit Billboard Hot 100 singles chart, beating David Bowie's song, Black Star, which clocked in at 9 minutes, 57 seconds. In classical music, in 1876, Richard Wagner premiered his opera, Guter Dammerung. And in 1946, the Third Symphony by Arthur Honegger premiered. In theater, in 1915, the event that inspired the musical Parade happened when Mary Fagan's murderer, Leo Frank, was taken from prison and lynched. And in award ceremonies that were held on August 17th in 1998, Carlos Santana received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Albums that were released in the UK on August 17th include in 1979 when XTC released Drums and Wires. Meanwhile, in America, in 1959, Miles Davis released his classic Kind of Blue. In 1970, the band released Stage Fright. In 1979, Rolls Royce released Rolls Royce 4 Rainbow Connection. In 1984, Wasp released their self-titled album. In 1987, New Order released Substance 1987, and Tom Waits released Frank's Wild Years. In 1990, Cannibal Corpse released Eaten Back to Life, and The Call released Red Moon. In 1991, Manfred Mann's Earth Band released Plains Music. In 1992, Take That released Take That and Party. In 1993, Mariah Carey released Music Box, and Bad Brains released Rise. In 1997, Tina Arena released In Deep. In 1998, Frontline Assembly released Rewind. In 1999, the Moody Blues released Strange Times. John Mellencamp released Rough Harvest. The Knack released The Best of the Knack. And Blur released the 10-year limited edition anniversary box set. 
In 2004, Boz Skaggs released Greatest Hits Alive, and The Talking Heads released The Best of the Talking Heads. And in 2010, David Gray released Foundling, Iron Maiden released The Final Frontier, and John Mellencamp released No Better Than This. Singles that were released on August 17th in the UK include in 1962 when the Tornadoes released Telstar in 1973, the Rolling Stones released Angie, Joe Walsh released Rocky Mountain Way, and the Isley Brothers released Ooh That Lady. Meanwhile in America, in 1963 the Ronettes released Be My Baby, a classic. In 1964, Scylla Black released It's For You. In 1967, Brenda Holloway released You've Made Me So Very Happy. In 1968, the Marvelettes did a twofer. They released What's Easy For Two Is Hard For One and Destination Anywhere. In 1983, Prince released Delirious. In 1985, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers released Rebels. In 1988, Guns N' Roses released their classic, Sweet Child of Mine. In 1989, The Rolling Stones released Mixed Emotions. In 1996, Brian Adams released Let's Make a Night to Remember. In 1998, The Rolling Stones released Out of Control. In 1999, Kid Rock released Cowboy and the Moody Blues released English Sunset. In 2002, The Red Hot Chili Peppers released The Zephyr Song. And in 2010, Soundgarden released Black Rain. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 17th include singer-songwriter Phoebe Bridgers, rapper Lil Pump, rapper The Kid Leroy, rapper Joyner Lucas, entertainer extraordinaire Miss Mae West, singer and actor Donnie Wahlberg of The New Kids on the Block, Belinda Carlisle of The Go-Go's, rapper Kelvin Mercer of De La Soul, bassist Jill Cuniff of Luscious Jackson, singer J. Von Monroe of the group Blood on the Dance Floor. Singer Yelena Kalusa, rapper Lil B, singer Timothy Heller, singer Disco Tony, singer Maria McKee of Lone Justice, drummer Sib Hashian of Boston, guitarist Gary Talley of The Box Tops, John Cedar of Spanky and Our Gang, jazz musician Duke Pearson, jazz singer Georgia Gibbs, singer and actress Miss Maureen O'Hara, Kevin Max of DC Talk, drummer Steve Gorman of the Black Crows, bassist Colin Moodling of XTC, singer and actor Mark Dinning, singer and actor Mark Salling of the show Glee, trumpet player and big band leader Larry Clinton, Drake Levin of Paul Revere and the Raiders, frontman Kevin Rowland of Dexie's Midnight Runners, guitarist Eric Johnson, Dean Castronovo of the group Journey, singer-songwriter Kevin Welsh, Gilby Clark of Guns N' Roses, and also the group Slash's Snake Pit, blues guitarist Colin James, singer Claire Richards of the group Steps, pianist Derek Smith, composer Thomas Jefferson Anderson, saxophonist Sam Butera, Jazz pianist George Melly, country music singer Wayne Rainey, country music singer Betty Cody, bass player George DeVivier, saxophonist Ike Quebec, and composer Abram Chasens. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 17th include composer Mauritius Vogue, who passed away in 1730 at the age of 61. Composer Johann Augustin Kobelius passed away in 1731 at the age of 57. Composer Giuseppe Scarlatti passed away in 1777 at the age of 54. Composer Jan Copriva passed away in 1792 at the age of 38. 
Librettus Lorenzo de Port passed away in 1838 at the age of 89. Composer Johann Poisel passed away in 1865 at the age of 82. Violinist Ole Buell passed away in 1880 at the age of 70. Composer Franz Comer passed away in 1887 at the age of 74. Composer Ernst Frank passed away in 1889 at the age of 42. Composer Carl Zeller passed away in 1898 at the age of 56. Composer Edmund Audrin passed away in 1901 at the age of 61. Composer Richard Hoffman passed away in 1909 at the age of 78. Composer Pierre Octave Ferraud passed away in 1936 at the age of 36. Conductor and composer Gino Maranuzzi Sr. passed away in 1945 at the age of 61. Singer Billy Murray passed away in 1954 at the age of 77. Composer Florent Schmidt passed away in 1958 at the age of 87. Composer and harpist Carlos Zalzado passed away in 1961 at the age of 76. Composer Jean Barak passed away in 1973 at the age of 44. Singer Paul Williams committed suicide in 1973 at the age of 32. Composer Petros Pedridis passed away in 1977 at the age of 86. Broadway composer Robert Bennett passed away in 1981 at the age of 87. Lyricist Ira Gershwin passed away in 1983 at the age of 86. Harmonica player Hammy Nixon passed away in 1984 at the age of 76. Drummer Gary Chester passed away in 1987 at the age of 62. Entertainer extraordinaire Miss Pearl Bailey passed away in 1990 at the age of 72. Singer Johnny Sales passed away from heart issues in 1993 at the age of 56. Musician and singer Phil Seymour passed away from lymphoma in 1993 at the age of 41. Musician Wild Bill Davis passed away in 1995 at the age of 76. Singer Betty Everett passed away in 2001 at the age of 61. Saxophonist Flip Phillips passed away in 2001 at the age of 86. Singer Gerard Suze passed away in 2004 at the age of 85. D. Rock, the executioner of the group Body Count, passed away from lymphoma in 2004 at the age of 44. Singer-songwriter Arsene Dedick passed away in 2015 at the age of 77. Composer Jan Fotek passed away in 2015 at the age of 76. Session musician harpist Sheila Bromberg passed away in 2021 at the age of 92. Session and touring guitarist Bobby Eli passed away in 2023 at the age of 77. And drummer Gary Young of the group Pavement passed away in 2023 at the age of 70. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 18th when in 1969, Jimi Hendrix played one of the most famous versions of the National Anthem during the last day of the Woodstock Music Festival. 